Let me just say this. Mississippi State is a giant long team. Yes, and they're physical as well. As you see, Matty Griggs controls the tip. Griggs, the greatest shooter in the history of the school, men's or women. They uh, realized a little earlier they were playing her too much, so they stopped her from playing 40 minutes. She's improved defensively. Shot selection as well. Missed an easy one there. And immediately they'll go to Barnum. And Barnum, no. And there's what you were talking about, Memphis. And able to rebound. That was Smith. Here's Carter. And that's where Memphis has to do a good job, hitting the offensive glass. Riddick making what is her fifth start, but she had a meeting with Simmons, asked her what she was doing wrong. She said work habit. She worked on that. And, man, has she improved. For someone to go in, and, and Coach Alex Simmons says, Hannah Riddick is one of the most selfless players that she's ever coached. Here's Carter. That's easy. I mean, that's good. That's textbook, right? Coach said that she's physical, she has a motor, and she's a relentless worker. Here's Griggs from deep. That's what she does. She For two, Memphis hanging in. Park Lane, okay, transfer from Seton. Oh, there's a couple of transfers on this team that have really instilled a bunch. Like Jordan, we should have mentioned earlier, she played at Tulane, and that will tie the game at four. Griggs again. That one was deflected. If you look at the key, yeah, the key, the yeah, keys to the game right on cue. I mean, Mississippi State has to handle Memphis press. Got to be able to contain those guards, and you got to establish a post press. And that's what Mississippi State does well, and they go right on cue to Aaron Bynum. And then for Memphis, transition defense is going to be Q. Hit the offensive glass. Elaza Smith, Hannah Riddick have to hit the glass. 6 4, Mississippi State. And Poe to the line, 8 of 10 on the year. 7 4, Bulldogs. And a little bit of pressure from Park Lane. She's from Seton Hall. Jordan was a terrific player at Tulane. And Griggs, little hesitation move. She traveled. When he said it was a problem, I said you're plus ten and a half. There he goes, oh, those, those things are skewed. We 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 got those plus rebounds against much more mediocre talent. They'll have to really hit them hard here. There's a three. That's from Jordan. Now she's got a thousand and three. Wow. I mean, she can score the basketball. And what Coach Purcell said about her is she's a three-level scorer, she, which means she can score in the post. She can score in the mid-range, and she can shoot the ball. So let's see if Memphis counters right now. Carter on Poe, lost the ball. Good defense that time. That's uh, Barnum. Goes to coast, and Barnum is in the books. Four of their starters have scored. The lead is eight. They find the open man, and finally, Memphis gets another one on the boards. And that's what Memphis has to do, right? Make Mississippi State play to their pace, right? Memphis is really good when they're out running in transition. Charge! And that's Elijah Smith. Excuse me, is that Elijah Smith? That was two of them. And Aaliyah Green down there. I'm, I'm it's looking both to see, yes. That is a charge on Carter. All yep. SEC last year, so was Barnum. Yep, that was Elijah Smith. Griggs doesn't need a whole lot of space, and that's good defense right there by Jordan. They faced each other when she was at Tulane, and Jordan draws contact and a foul. Three of those passes, by the way, have come from different players. So at the line to increase it, first in the game, makes that first one. Yeah, David, you talk about passing. Lauren Park Lane is ranked fourth in the country in assists. Sales in this game quick. Griggs couldn't get it to go. The second tip, but right to Jordan. And the Tigers do a good job of doubling her. Here's Darian Rogers in the game. The Tigers with three team fouls now. I'm sorry, make it four. She's their second player with assists on the year and put a good free throw shooter there. He's he's a fan of the transfer report as you see he has a team full of transfers and they're producing early on in this ball game. Showing a bit of a 1-3-1 one zone. Shading to the shooters a little bit. Trying to make Memphis there and there they go. That's what Memphis Po 
directing traffic. Great little give. And the runner is going to go for Miracle Shepherd just in the game as well. Pace picks up a little bit. She was very good last week versus Miss, uh, excuse me, Southern Miss. You see a look at the block here, and that's a, I think that's a clean block. And that's it. You got to keep an eye. Got to keep an eye on Madison Griggs on the baseline out of bounds. Says she's very good at finding the open areas. Cuts it to seven. Her second three in the game. She broke Rodney Carter's uh, Rodney Carney's all-time record earlier this year. He was a good player. One of the best. <laughs> really good athlete. You know, his mother was a track star. What a tough move by Miracle Shepherd. It's a big possession for Memphis right here. They're starting to get some momentum in turnovers, creating turnovers. Let's see if they can capitalize. Wide open three would not go for Brown. But you can live with that look. Shelby Brown, that's a wide open look. That's a good shot. And that's what Memphis wasn't getting in the first three or four minutes of this game. Now they're starting to get some open looks. Just got to convert them. I'm impressed how Carter can go out there and handle the ball. Her footwork just so fundamentally sound. Shepard goes right into the big lady, yeah. and that's so easy. Yeah, and Coach Percy, he said she's a pro, right? When he talked to us the other day, that's the, he said, I'm going to keep it simple. She's a pro. Griggs all the way to the hole. Got it to go. She's got eight. And it's down to a nine-point lead. The Carter missed one. And Memphis now has a chance to hold for the last shot. Ten seconds. Griggs gets the play from Simmons. One-on-one -on -one with Shepard. Down to four. At the buzzer. Good defense by Miracle Shepard. And it's Mississippi State. But let's see if, if Memphis can now bait Mississippi State into shooting tough contested twos and long threes. And well, Memphis this, needs to board and run. This is like a second chance again. And wow. It's been majority of the starters again. They combined for 76 of the 82 points in a win versus Jackson State. Jordan will get one more. Very good first quarter for her. Hit a triple and a couple of free throws. And she downs that one. What do you want to see against that zone, Trey? Well, get to the open. You can't just stand and pass, right, and just take long threes. Make Put the ball on the floor. Exactly. Right on cue. Put the ball on the floor. Penetrate the zone. Find your shooters, right? Don't get – but you got to get back on defense, and that's what she does. And two more for her. And we'll get a bit, into it a little bit later. That's a good shot by Madison Griggs, but – That's her third three in the game. The Yabba Dabba Dogs and Even running the minute. floor. Yeah. yeah. And we'll get into that. That's a big shot. This could be huge. Wouldn't go. Second chance for Memphis. Up, no, but a foul. And that goes right into the same, which we'll get into later, the Yabba Dabba Dogs, because it can happen three ways. But we'll talk about that a little later in the broadcast. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. Mississippi State started off like a house on fire. They're now 9 of 20. They've only got one more bucket than the U of M. Great pass inside. Easy. That was set up with a terrific pass from Park Lane. Park Lane can pass that basketball, right? You know, the statistics would tell you that. That one nearly. Finish those bunnies. You've got to be able to finish in the paint. And Jordan from oh, deep. No. Three. Tigers hanging on the boards. 16-12 advantage for State. They uh, usually are plus 10 and a half. Great lob for Riddick. And she's going to draw the foul. They're going to call that on Montague. I thought that was going to go on Poe. They could have gone either way. So Riddick gets the first one to go. So she's got two points. She hit a both. Carter has been getting a good rest as well. Let's see if Coach Vassell decides to go back. That might be a charge. Wow. Giving up her body for the betterment of her team. Great Park job by Kiari K. Park Lane, actually, when you put that arm out, you're in trouble. Smith, right back to the point guard.
Major Smith just doing what she does best. 64%. She shoots more free throws than anybody on the Tigers team. Even though they've only hit one of their last eight, they keep turning Mississippi State over. A close one here. A two-possession game. And their defense is picked up, right? They're active. They're loud. They're communicating. You can tell. Look, they're switching early. Their defense is now creating opportunities for offense. And the Rodgers shot goes over the backboard. The Yabba Dabba Dogs. And you can actually hear the fans of Mississippi State behind the bench yell out Yabba Dabba Dog throughout the game. Madison Grigg, Hannah Riddick. And that was blocked cleanly. That's the third block in the game by Mississippi State. We say it's defense. Hard to score in this game. Jordan on Griggs. Two great players. Jordan wins that one. Tigers have one block in the game. But they have been tenacious. That's right into Riddick, and she draws another foul. Uh, Haggard. That's Jasmine Brown Haggard. So that is her first. And the first free throw from Riddick. It's Sam Purcell's played all nine of his players of the game today. And he usually doesn't do that. He Riddick. talked about it. He usually tried to. Go. Tigers go with that pressure. They had a lot of success with that pressure so far. So let's find I know Coach Simmons is going to keep it up. She's going to keep that pressure on. Nice blow by, by Brown Hager, but a wild shot. She'll get a second chance. She makes him pay. Rodgers has done a good job on Griggs. That one's way off. But Elijah Smith creating second chance opportunities. DJ for three off the mark. Had the look. It was wide open. Destiny couldn't put it in. 2.15 to go. Here in the first half, close game. State by seven, looking for more. And she's got five in the game now. Two minutes to go, and that lead creeps up to nine. Tigers had cut it to four. They've been down by as many as ten. Wide open look, and Brown makes them pay. A terrific prospect out of Bartlett High School. Highly rated prospect. Great inbound. Barnum uses her body. Missed the shot. Shepard puts it up and missed. Well, they they have control. They have already double digits in the offensive rebounding department. Lead back to eight. Make it nine. Kane tries to find a better pass, shot. Oh, nice that's pass. A, that's if this may give one more possession if Mississippi State go ahead and take it out. So Cox makes it a seven-point game. Pressure beaten. What a pass. And Rodgers converts. That Last shot Coach of the half. Happy. Cox is going to get a couple here. Just hit her first bucket. She's been good on the year. Four of five from the line. And I jinxed her there. Back iron wouldn't go. And a turnover at the end of the half. I know Mississippi State's got to take better care of the ball and keep Carter on the floor. What do you want to see from Memphis? I want to see Memphis create easy buckets, right? They kind of adjust in this, this, this second half lineup, right? Instead of going with Kiari Kane or going with Destiny Jackson. So let's see if you get some wide open looks. And that's wide open, but you, but, you know, Mass Grid. But this is what you can't have. You can't allow Ja'Kayla Jordan to get out in transition. And she tried, but somebody did come back and knock that ball away. In the first half with 11. That one was nowhere close, though. High, low, and Carter fouled. Alex Simmons' teams and the Memphis Tigers, they say they are going to hit the offensive glass very hard. So uh, even, yeah, right, you can't have mis mislaps, excuse me, mislaps like that. Wide open for Carter. Wow, that's two air balls. But he's on the rebound. On open <laughs> shots. And Memphis needs Kai Carter to get involved, right? She's one of the best scorers. Major Smith, you look at the stat sheet and you say, right, Kai Carter only has two points. He only has two points. Kiari Kane hasn't scored. Oh, Lasky is telling Alex Simmons she got her on the elbow. So two shots, Carter misses. One of two. And Smith just threw that away. I think she was looking at Griggs, thought she was going to cut. 
Turnover number 10 on the U of M. Good defense. Wow, tough shot. That lead is now 11. And Memphis bench I, is I don't furious think Alex right Simmons now. believes that at all. Park Lane all the way. Got it to go. That's her first. Griggs from deep. Another offensive rebound. Green can't get it to go. And this time Carter comes away with it. Memphis has really been good on the offensive glass. They just can't get him to fall. 43-30. State with the lead in the ball. We got our, our score bug back. Largest lead of the game. Great pass. And the lead, 15. Jackson, floater. Uh, another offensive rebound by Green, who draws the foul. And Green, peculiar Missouri, now 3 of 11 on the year from the line. Yeah, she can make this. This will give Memphis time to try to set up that press. That Near walk. Great pass. And the steal. Alex Simmons says run, and they will. And Griggs. And this is right what they're to really work. good at in transition. You have to capitalize here. State did a good job of getting back, and now yeah. they get that suffocating defense going. Smith was in a war just trying to set a pick. Green all the way to the hole and got it to go. Again, the Tigers with chances. Poe cut off. And that'll be an offensive rebound on Carter, so she's now got three. Right, and that's a big, that could be game changing. If you're Alex Simmons, you're going right at her. Have to, have to. Had to think about it for a second, I'm like, ah, because she's still, she's still aggressive. Wow. Another offensive rebound, see? misses all over the place. Poe got knocked out of bounds, that'll be... Uh, on the Sims for pushing off. That'll be her first. And there are five team fouls on Memphis. If I told you it's 16 offensive rebounds and you're 12 of 48 shooting 25%, you'd say I'm crazy. Yeah, 16 offensive rebounds. First free throw right down the middle. Here's the second. Knocks them both down. Free throws, I got a feeling. There's Griggs with a bit of a look, and that time it worked out. Who has two fouls? Park Lane in transition. Aaliyah Green is of hitting these boards. Right idea, Smith, and it pays off freshman. by Sims. That's and the freshman finds a way to get active. Griggs. Able to get back on Rodgers on defense. Here's Carter. Wow, wow, that's a tough shot. That's... Mm. She's inserted herself into this ball game early. Well, she's got to get in the game now. She's the backup point guard. Park Lane with those. One more. 10-point game. Memphis still hanging around. Shepard, nifty little move. Oh, she... Wow. A lot of Coach. people thought that was a travel. Especially Coach Simmons. She's pissed right now. Oh, left. Hand. Now she's got six in the game. Lead creeps up to 11. Wide open look. Got it! No call. Big possession here. Sims and Shepard one on one. Nice switch by Griggs. That's blocked by Green. Griggs and Jordan. And another block. And that second one wouldn't go. That's what they led at the half. This third quarter, even Steven. Well, right to Carter. See if she can make a play. Great pass. 
And there's that three-level scoring that we talked oh, about. Jordan, boy. Three-quarter from the low side. Right? Make it difficult. Don't just give her space. 12 in the game. Make it 13. Senior from New Orleans. Played against the Tigers before in a two-lane jersey. Missed that one. Green will set the pick. Oh, they took Carter up to watch Griggs. Right. She has to be careful. She has three. Wide open, Smith deep three, nothing but the bottom. We'll get one more shot at this thing. Carter on green. Good give and go. Nice That's play, a Jordan. Tough move. Wow. 54, 45. Memphis will play for the last shot of the half of the quarter. Jackson's going to take the three. Remy, no. Carter, a big rebound. And that's the way the quarter will come to an end. It was a nine-point differential at the half. Again, they were down by as many as 15. They've cut it a few times, and there's a turnover. Jordan, one of the better players in the game, Ooh, makes that happen. Finish. Wow. Finish with the right, with the finish with the left. I mean, she can score the basketball. Tigers were shooting 28% after the third quarter, and there's another miss. There's another turnover. Big shot by Lasia Smith. Wide open and a Lasia second three in the half. She's got nine now working on a double-double. And that gets the Tigers within eight. Shepard getting minutes because Lauren Park Lane on the bench with four fouls. Carter on the give and go. A what a play to pass. Oh. Ten point game again. Griggs looking for space. Got it. Not that time. Another offensive rebound. Green right back. Uh-uh. You said it. Finishing in the lane. Finishing in the pain. And to Kayla Jordan, that's her sixth rebound. She's right on pay. Right on cue for both of her averages. Under eight to go. Ten-point game. There's that three-level score yeah. we talked about. She has found the answer. Points in the paint. They have been big. It's now a 36-18 advantage for the Bulldogs. There's the difference in the game. And Memphis, with all those misses inside, otherwise this really is a game. They've made them in the paint, and Memphis has not. Griggs, great little pass. And there's block number five for Carter. Memphis now with... Looks like 11 or 12 more shots than Mississippi State. They just yeah, can't they just can't finish. That, you talk about finishing in the paint. There's Jessica Carter with the block. But Memphis just has to, to finish. I mean, they have 11 to 12 more attempts than the Bulldogs. They just got to be able to finish. Smith again. This time an air ball. Better than their overall shooting percentage. That's 33%. They're 27% overall. Pressure's handled. And Poe with the easy left hand. Griggs 14 points in the game. She's made four threes. This the old-fashioned two. No call. It got enough English. They're 35 in the net for a reason. 10 and 2 on the year. The two losses. Two critical players who've been good in this game. Carter and Barnum didn't play. Right, and Memphis is going to need three stops in a row, right? Now well, this Memphis team, Alex Simmons was saying, I'm not disappointed when they played at the University of Tennessee. Coming off their best game. Kane will put it into play and right inside. That's a strong and, move by uh, Shelby Brown. Bucket in this, in this half. And once again. It's at 11. We see it creep to 11. Tough play by Shepard. She God. just she went right at Lake and Cox. Couldn't stop her. Brown from outside. No. Cox couldn't. 13 point game. Tough to press. Yeah, just... When you're going to get wide open. Wow. Points. And that is exactly. Good move by Griggs to get 
Players in the air. There's a foul. 16 points. She's only been at the free throw line 18 times this year. When she's there. That one will rattle home. Wow. Rogers. Mississippi State just with textbook offense yeah. right there. A oh, foul on the floor. There was a hold that allowed Griggs. Wow. It, it appeared as if she was holding so Griggs could get to the long rebound. And that's it for Brown. Wow, let's see. Wow. Oh, wow. I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's not a good call. Yeah, I don't know about that one. But Chevy Brown out of the game. Memphis with three fouls now in this fourth quarter. And Carter's going to the line. Another foul on the Tigers. We'll go to the line. Now about 70% on the year, and she's not been so good from the So a 15-point game. The double-double for Carter. Jessica Carter. And that falls on Shepard. Jackson, perfect from the line tonight. Six points in the game. Mm. Wow. I jinxed her. Once again, let's see if, if she makes this free throw, if Memphis decides to go with that press that they love so much. Missed them both. And run. Memphis needs to run here, right? Just go. Push. And Coach Simmons is saying to push, run, try to set something up. See if we get some easy points here. Don't allow them to set up that zone. Points have been hard to get. Great passing. And that time, Lakin Cox was the beneficiary. She's got two buckets in the game and the pressure again. Right. Memphis isn't going to give up. They're not going to quit. Easy one. Oh, Carter missed an easy one. Got it right back. 15 for Carter now. Six blocks. Approach the trip trying to get that triple double. Well, she's got two thirds of the way there. Deep from Griggs. Got it. Another rebound. Felicia Smith. Felicia Smith. That'd be her 15th. Let's see if Memphis can get a score here and get a timeout. Set that press up. Right back to Griggs. Enough space. Yes, sir. That's a big shot. Memphis cuts it to nine. Three minutes left. Right under three. And a turnover. Not over yet. Two wow, they called a foul. Oh, wow. Late call. Ed Sidlaski is Jordan. She's had a whale of a game. 17 points. She's got six rebounds, a couple of assists. Well, so you look at Jordan and Carter, Paul Barnum, Park Lane also. Yeah, that team's going to be very good in the SEC. Fifth last year. And again, made that play in and went all the way to the second round. A tough move by Madison Griggs and Ja'Kayla Jordan. That's her seventh rebound. She might have gotten away with a walk on that one, but she draws the foul, and she's hit six of the eight. So not bad, and this one will go. Neither yeah. her Carter with those six blocks and a double-double. Both of them go down. Two minutes in change, down 13. And draws the foul. And she's only got two points. Double-digit offensive rebounds, right? You're right at 22 offensive rebounds. That's a good sign. So what you want to do is this is a very good SEC team. You've played a tough non-conference schedule. So you just want to finish the game strong, get out of here healthy, get on Christmas break, and regroup. And I'm sure this Memphis team, they're going to fight. They're going to continue to fight. Minute 31, and the Tigers still go with that press. Park Lane said, get it to Carter first, and then I'll take over and draws the foul. Only three points in this game with that free throw, one bucket. But her job is to distribute. And she's had four assists in the game. 
So she's into the 80s for assists. In 13 games, you do the math, it's pretty good. Smith, uh-uh, that's... Right, it's 16 more shots, right? 75 attempts right now. I mean, then Mississippi State, so the thing is they're shooting only 29% from the field, and Park Lane just puts a... Mm. I mean, that, that might do it. Just waited and waited, didn't get as many minutes, had foul trouble today. Shepard came in and did a pretty good job for her. They'll be ready, and, and, and they're just working on, on late-game situations here. That's a great play call. Briggs with 24. You'd like Smith to get the double-double. That one just won't go. Carter, another rebound. Shot clock turned off. State will get in the front court and dribble it out, I would suspect. And the difference is going to be 18 points, 81-63 will be your final some good things here you hung with a really good team for much of the game you scrapped you turned them over you just could not shoot the ball and that's got to give credit to state 29 percent from the field that's amazing right but that's you know that should that's the non-conference schedule mississippi state columbia right they play tennessee they play middle tennessee